with something you don't see every day, a Roland GR700 with a MIDI input jack. This modification is credited to Mark Tsuruta, who I understand had come from Roland Japan to work at Roland headquarters in Los Angeles. As recently as 2005, Mark Tsuruta is listed as the Executive Vice President with Roland System Solutions. In any case, adding a MIDI input would have required a talented engineer with access to the original, commented, uncompiled operating system code for the GR700. The MIDI input requires both a change in the operating system plus additional hardware and processing to convert the MIDI signals into the proper format for the GR700's central processing unit. A look inside this GR700 shows quite a few modifications made to support the MIDI input, including a custom circuit board. I've probably seen three of these rare birds for sale on eBay in the last 10 years. Not surprisingly, most have come from Los Angeles, where I got this GR700. This is the only MIDI-N GR700 that I have personally worked with, and the unit did not come with any additional documentation. So what I do know about the features of this rare GR700 comes from my personal experience or trial and error. First, a basic tip sleeve on-off latching foot switch is needed to toggle between regular guitar synthesizer mode and MIDI operation. Without the foot switch, the GR700 always operates in standard guitar synthesizer mode. Plug in the foot switch and you can toggle between MIDI and guitar mode. The GR700 does not respond to MIDI controller 7 or volume. In fact, even in MIDI in mode, the GR700 volume is still controlled by the volume knob on the guitar and all editing parameters are controlled by the guitar. If you do not have a guitar connected, you will not get any output. Here are the new MIDI parameters added with the MIDI input. MIDI channel, program change on off, sustain on off, pitch bin response on off, and modulation on off. To change these parameters, press and hold the chorus switch. Pressing either switches 3, 4, 5, or 6 will show the status of the four MIDI controller settings. Just like the standard GR700 editing mode, if a block is in the lower position, the function is off, and if it is in the upper position, it is on. Pressing foot switch 3 will enable or disable program change commands to the GR700. The GR700 responds to program changes 1 through 64 corresponding to the 64 patches in the GR700. With a memory cartridge installed, program changes 65 through 128 call up patches on the memory cartridge. So program change 65 equals patch 11 on the memory cartridge and program change 128 calls up patch 88 on the memory cartridge. Without a memory cartridge, sending program changes 65 through 128 cycle through the original 64 patches. So sending program change 65 calls up internal patch 11 and sending program change 128 calls up internal patch 88. Sustain on off is controlled by foot switch 4. Pitch bend on off is controlled by foot switch 5 and modulation or LFO is controlled by foot switch 6. With all four blocks in the up position, the GR700 responds to program change, sustain, pitch bend, and modulation. Pressing foot switch 7 decrements the MIDI input channel and foot switch 8 increments the MIDI channel. Pitch bend range can be changed at any time. It is not necessary to hold down the chorus switch. Press the pitch bin switch and the pitch bin range is displayed. Now pressing the voice switch increments the range up to seven semitones of pitch bin. Pressing the hold switch decrements the range. Pressing pitch bin again exits edit pitch bin range. You will notice that when you enter MIDI input mode, the dynamics LEDs turn off. In MIDI input mode, the dynamics are always on. For example, Factory patch 27 bell does not respond to dynamics in guitar mode. So, no matter how hard you pick the string, it does not affect the loudness or brightness of the sound. In MIDI input mode, the sound responds to velocity, changing in both loudness and brightness. The GR700 MIDI input extends the range of the GR700. Normally, the lowest note on the GR700 is low E on the guitar. The GR700 MIDI input extends this to A below the low E on the guitar, adding another fifth to the lowest range of the synth. If you play below the A below E on the guitar, the octave repeats.
The highest note on an 88 key synth is C7. The GR700 will respond to G8. The highest possible note in the MIDI specification. Given the fact that the voice board in the GR700 is virtually identical to the MKS30, some people may wonder why Roland didn't include this MIDI input in the first place. A question people were asking again in 2011 when Roland released the GR55, their latest guitar synthesizer that does not respond to incoming MIDI note information. <laughs> 